hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel for intune tutorial and today's video we're going to talk about the custom device compliance policy so how you can create or set the custom device compliance policy with the set of rules which is provided by your the management so uh, let's get started with this video so here is the content for this video uh, what is the device compliance policy? So first we'll understand what is the device compliance policy Then we'll be getting ready with the PowerShell script uh, because it's a custom So we need to write everything with the PowerShell code now We'll be getting ready with our, our JSON file because JSON file is a mandatory to create uh, and import into the compliance policy so based on that it will detect uh, whether the device is compliance or not finally we'll create the compliance policy then uh, we'll deploy it and then finally we'll test it so now here is the device comp what is the device compliance policy so with the intune help you can protect organization data by requiring user and the device data with meet uh, some requirements uh, that's called the compliance policy so basically what is the compliance policy so when you have the certain checks or the rules to be checked on the device or the user base and the finally if the rule is met with that device it will mark as a compliance if not that will mark as a not compliance so in the intune we can set rules and settings that the user and device must to be and the compliance it must meet uh, that rule if it is not met meeting with that rule it will mark as a not compliance so we can include the action on the not compliance device like user can get alert if the device is in not compliance or you can take a action based on on your the conditional access with the ca now it can be combined with the conditional access ca to block the user or the device if it is in not compliance and it can be overwrite with the configuration setting and that you can manage with your the device configuration policies now here is the powershell script which i write it to just show you how you can start from uh, creating and it's uh, uh, like company to company defer i create it for the testing to detect uh, certain uh, certain parameters like the defender services running or not or what is definition it up to date or not or based on the os version so i put it just some standard settings the 5 6 detection and based on your company requirement you can just modify this powershell i'll show you from where you can download this powershell now here is the sample for your JSON. How you can start writing your the JSON. So it's a uh, you can start uh, um, like a bracket start uh, rules and put your the information. So this JSON is totally depend on your the PowerShell. So based on your the PowerShell input, your JSON will design here. So here you can see in the defender status and here is like a uh, this is the defender status. So I I create just only for the one and uh, these both the files powershell and the json file i uploaded in my um, uh, github profile so i will show you where it is so now let's get started with the lab so you can log into my the github profile it is uh, uh uh this is the, my username you can go here on the github and here is the file i uploaded intune custom device compliance policy so go here and uh, then you can download uh, these two files. This is the one is the, the JSON file and one is the PowerShell. So uh, no need to write it again and you can modify the JSON format and the PowerShell. And let me show you the complete JSON, how I write it. So this is the complete JSON file, which you will be downloading from my the GitHub. And uh, it's a defender status, the defender version, defender service status, uh, the signature update, and the OS version. So based on all these things, it will decide your the compliancy. And let me go to the PowerShell and show what I write it here. Let me just clear this part. Let's run this. So what and all it will detect, it will throw the output and you need to write the PowerShell in the same format. Let me run this hash now. So here is the output if you seen it uh, the name uh, defender service status defender status signatures uh, is it old or not and uh, the defender version and the OS version. So here you can uh, write your the PowerShell and the one thing I can tell you uh, here is the detection method which you have to be uh, managed like the defender status is equals and it's the value is a boolean it can be a true or false. 
and the defender version it is equal to so i am calculating the version is it should be the more than 8.4.18 uh, and uh, that is a standard if you want to change it you can change that value and here is the service status that also boolean it, my powershell will throw whether the service is uh, uh, true or false whether it's running or not and here is the signature age the signature status should be less or equal so when you are calculating your signature is with the powershell here i can show you the signature is is a zero that means it's uh, up to date so if you are mentioning i mentioning here uh, 14 days it's in a days if the value is under the 14 days uh, then it will be marked as a compliance if it is cross that 14 days suppose your device is not updated uh, more than 14 days then uh, this detection will mark as a not compliance so uh, that is all about uh, the your uh, detection method and here what you can do uh, the OS version detection so I am calculating all devices should be the minimum version of Windows 10 and uh, you can uh, match with that so now we are good with the JSON to understand how we can write and uh, with the PowerShell also we are good. So now let's go to the Intune console here. Now here is the, my Intune console uh, and I am under the devices. Let me go and show you from where you can create this custom compliance policy. So now go to the devices and here is the compliance policy. So first part is uh, you need to set up your script the PowerShell script first go here and now just add your script so Windows 10 and letter custom compliance policy so anything you can name it here now so here we need the PowerShell script so let's go to the PowerShell and copy paste and put it here that's all and all these settings should be like this now go to the next create it so our script is ready here once you refresh the console it will show the data it's in tune so it's taking a, a little time so now we are ready with the our powershell script and uh, the next thing is let's see the compliance setting so what does it mean so here is mean compliance status validity period is the 30 days if your device is not log in last 30 days then also your device will be marked as a compliance because suppose that the last status sent to intune uh, it was a compliance but device has not logged in last one month so that means is after 30 days that device status automatically will change it to the not compliance because of that device has not logged in last 30 days so you need to see your the company standard now this is for the retire the device if you want to retire uh, the device uh, okay so this is the option here which will show you if the any devices got retired so you can just check it here now here is the notification so if you would like to send a notification to the user that your device is not compliant so you can create a notification here so let's me create it like a noti i am just giving the notification and the email header include in the company logo email header include the company name and uh, this is for the email photo and the company portal so let it be and you can modify with your requirement like you can pass your message like your device is no c n o n compliance and mention it's like contact with intune team anything you can mention it here based on is it a default yes you can set it a default you can give the subject line device non compliance and the subject scale that's fine okay so now we are good with this uh, email notification so whenever okay location I say like India you can give Oops, it's the English. 
perfect so now we are ready with our uh, notification so whenever any device is in not compliance then user will be notified that your device is not compliance or you can give the remediation uh, details as well in the email body now the main portion is for the compliance and uh, before moving to the compliance let me open a one more new tab yeah is if one is enough so we need a uh, group device group where we will be testing this compliance policy so let me go and check already i create a group here and i would like to show you that group now let's go to the group so here i create a group that called the intune device compliance so let me go inside and see how many devices are i have here so i have the one device here and it's a device not a user so we should be make sure device compliance always this compliance policy always deploy only on the device not to the user and the conditional access always deploy to the users not to the devices so we uh, i have the one device intune one and that will test it now let's move it to back to the our intune compliance policy and let's create the policy here now here let's take a windows 10 and later let's go to the next custom device compliance policy let's create this so now here we have the a number of list if you go here so we have uh, some default options if you would like to use it and but today we are talking about if these uh, 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 rules are not matching with our uh, requirement so what the management ask then we'll go with the powershell so i'm going today with the powershell now uh, select required and go here now so here is the script custom compliance policy let's select here the powershell with what we created and now here it asking for the json so json file i saved it here the compliance json which i showed you earlier and uh, that will detect if if you write it well then it will detect and it will show you the value if not it will throw uh, it will throw the error so the setting name is a defender status is equal to true if the defender status is if the defender is active on your device then it will be a true then the defender version uh, minimum should be uh, 4.18 and the defender status defender service status if the defender service is running or not and uh, the signature age should be the less than 14 and the OS version should be the greater than 10.0. So that's what we have set up. So now we all could we set up here and now uh, the action is marked as a device not compliance. So I'm not going to take any action for now, but in, in the coming video, I can show you how you can take a action with the CA or send the email to the user. You can send it. And uh, what is the message here? You can select the message the notification what we created so if you would like to notify the user so this is the notification what i have we created and uh, you can just select it so if you want to uh, select the additional uh, receipt user automatically it will get but if you need some more additional you can select it here the user detail who else can get the email so now we are good uh, under the uh, assignment uh, select the group what we created and uh, we can deploy this compliance policy to the user device just wait so such that intune device compliance group this is here now select this and we are good now next and just create So once you create it and uh, the report, we can see in it here how many compliance, not compliance. Once this policy replicated to the device, then it will print the output here and it will show you how many devices are compliant or how many are not compliant. And here is the property. If you want to change anything related to the policy, you can go here and you can just change the policy if you would like to modify it. But I'm good. I don't want to change anything for now. And this tab is for the report. You can easily monitor from here uh, uh, how many devices got the policy or where it got failed or the device status like it's a compliance or not compliance. 
So let's move it to the uh, our test device and uh, we'll force to uh, to update the compliance policy and then we'll test it. So now this is what might the device and uh, I'm sorry, one second. This is my the test device where I am using the MEM1 login account. So let me just log in on this device. I need to log in with the MEM user. One minute. It's MEM user. So I'm getting login to the device or sit. Let me check the user again. So now I logged in here into my. So I logged in here into my the test device and let me go to the sync, go to the setting, and uh, just go to the accounts. And actually, this will automatically sync when you log in uh, in your device. So as soon you log in, immediately it will sync. And first, it will check the compliance and then the ca will apply it on your device so let me sync this device and let's move it to the intune console so once it's done and i hope so the status should update it here let me go here and you can see in it's the uh two intune one two and intune one is detected here so it's showing the account the microsoft cloud account cloud account and but it's showing the uh, Intune device one it's showing the system account why did it showing the system account uh, because it was login with the uh, normal account it's a local account it's this device has not login and I want to show you if a user has login with the local uh, local account so how the status will update here so now it's saying here not ever not applicable but uh, yeah okay i think it's vdi so that's why it's showing uh let me check in my script why it is uh showing the not applicable but it, it should apply it here yeah the one device is showing the compliance and one is showing the not applicable uh so what i can do now uh, the status will update when you are doing in the production so no need to worry for that uh, let me go to the device where it's showing uh, let's say uh, let's go to the one device okay the first device's uh, account is updated i log in with the uh, this account and uh, now let me go to the intune one device and let's see the status how it's showing here or you can go it from here as well Oh, it's not allowing so go to the device search the device name uh, in the console and let's go and see what is the status as updated there so now here in the console let's go to the device compliance and let's validate uh, what are the policies as updated here so here it was synced with this uh, this account uh, this is for the uh, the default policy and uh, I'm sorry and here is the custom device compliance policy so let's go to the custom compliance policy and let's validate all these uh, settings are implemented or not yeah so here we set up our uh, defender services status defender status and uh, the defender version OS version signature update all are showing uh, compliance so if any of them is uh, showing a not compliance then your overall compliance score will be not compliance so guys that's how you can validate and this is what my the device here the intune device one which i was showing you and uh, the sync was happen as soon you log in with the cloud account so guys uh, thank you so much thank you for watching this video let me update this so intune to device status also will be updating here and uh, then we are good so guys thank you so much for watching this video see you soon in my the next video keep watching my videos